Okay, in this problem we're going to do some vector calculations and they're asking us the following. A telephone cable is clamped at point A, right here, to a pole which is AB and knowing that the tension in the right hand portion of the cable in T2 equals 1000 pounds, they want us to determine by trigonometry the required tension in T1 on the left hand side uh, in a way that uh, R, the resultant of the two forces, will be vertical. And then in the second part they want us to find the corresponding magnitude of this R. Okay, first we're gonna draw our force triangle. I'm gonna draw very first the resultant, since it's vertical, I'm just gonna make a vertical vector right here. Next I'm gonna transfer T1, I'm gonna put it here and we know we can see that uh, it has a 15 degree angle with the horizontal. So over here if we see that this is the horizontal right above it then this angle is 15 just like it is 15 here. Therefore, between the horizontal and vertical, we have 90 degrees minus the 15, we have, we get uh, 75. We found our first angle. Now let's transfer T2. I'm going to transfer it right here. Over here, you can see it has an angle of 25 with the horizontal. And from uh, trigonometry, if we use this, where two parallel lines, uh, we have a third one crossing, then these two angles will be the same. And for that matter, these two would be the same too. Over here, if we do another horizontal line, we can see that this is 25 and this is 25. So this is our T2. We're going to make our horizontal line. So therefore, out here, this would be 25. Now we have a horizontal a vertical which gives us a 90 degrees minus the 25 that we have out here that will give us 65. Now we have two of our uh, angles and for the third one we're gonna use this rule from trigonometry where the three angles sum up to 180. 180 minus 65 minus 75 gives us a value of 40 degrees for this angle right here. Now, they want us to find the tension in T1. So, we have all three angles and we have this side of the triangle. For To find another side, we're going to use the law of sines right here. And we're going to use only two sides of it. We don't really need the third one. So, we're going to write that down. We're going to use T1 with over T1 over sine 65, T1 over sine 65 equals T2 over sine of 75. We're going to solve for T1 and with a calculator we're going to get 938.3 pounds. In the second part they want us to find R, the magnitude of R. For this I'm going to go ahead and use the law of sines just like I did over here. But this time we're going to use R, this side, over sine of 40 equals to T2 over sine of 75. We're going to solve for R, this times this over this, and with a calculator we're going to get 665.5 pounds. 